Hey y'all, Sierra LaRae Johnson with Contact Atlanta, and I'm super excited. You know, we sitting down with entrepreneurs, dreamers, moguls in the Atlanta area, um, but I'm blessed to be here with my little brother. I know a lot of people, you see him, Kenny Gaines on Instagram. They're like, you got a brother, you got a brother. We grew up together, we locked in, so um, this is my heart outside of my body. So I'm yeah. excited to just talk to, talking about everything that he has going on. So he's an athlete, a business owner, a musician, um, just doing a lot of great things. So tell us some more about you, KG. Um, well, my name is uh, Kenny Gaines. Uh, I was born in Riverdale, Georgia. Um, born in the year 1994, January 28, 1994. The Aquarius. So, so shout out to my Aquarius. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, athlete. Um, uh, went to University of Georgia. Uh, graduated in 2016. Um, been playing professional basketball overseas for four and a half years now. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you know, entrepreneur outside of being an athlete, uh, just started a luxury um, car service. So I'm pretty sure we'll get to talk about that a little bit later in the interview. But um, yeah, that's a couple things. I got going. Yeah. So I want to kind of talk to have a, a genuine conversation with you just about business and life. Um, so we've been through so much over the past couple of years or whatever, but we've always been able to bounce back. Um, and so a lot of people see you on Instagram, they see you thriving and they see how good of an athlete you are, but you've also been through so much and you've been everybody rock, even my rock. So like, how did you get through everything that you've been through and still go overseas away from everybody and still start your business and still be successful? Like what's your, what's your, how, what's your strategy for that? How did you do that? Uh, really just keep my nose down um, and just finding an inner passion within myself to mm -hmm. not let my circumstances beat what, you know, like beat my spirit and yeah. kind of like not let it distract me from what I had going on before, um, you know, certain things happened. Yeah. And um, really just being um, aggressive on my goals, you know, I set a goal and really not letting anything, you know, uh, like take me away from that. Right. Uh, take my focus away and just, just being a go-getter, a real hustler for real. Right. So you tapping into the entrepreneur side, have you always seen yourself being an entrepreneur? Or like, what, what, when did you get that entrepreneur bug? Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> I never really like saw myself um, working for anybody just because uh, like being a college athlete, mm -hmm. um, like after being on the team and you know, like having that relationship uh, with the coaches, like, hmm, yeah, I'd rather like work on a job that's kind of like this yeah. instead of then, you know, like me having to sit somewhere and like have somebody kind of like be a dictator over me in a sense where <laughs> at you know, a being, desk or it, yeah. Yeah, being an athlete, I kind of have a sense of freedom mm -hmm. um, within, uh, within me playing. So um, yeah, even after that, I just, I knew like, I wanted to kind of like do something as far as uh, uh, on my own and like outside of just like anybody else, like a business that I could kind of just yeah. run by myself in a sense. So I, yeah, I kind of knew I wanted to do the entrepreneurship thing. And then, for a while. Right. And you like money and like all that type of stuff. For sure. <laughs> Definitely like money. I like the things that money can buy. Right. You know, so I, det I detach myself from money, but yeah. I like the things that money can do for me. So. That's a good, you look at you growing up. Hey, that was a proud sister moment right I'm there. Trying. You said you that. Said. Okay. <laughs> So with basketball, like you love basketball, um, how do you still feel like you have the same fire and force for the sport, or like do you feel like you can, you think you're gonna 100% transition into entrepreneurship? I always tell people I actually don't love basketball. I just like basketball a lot, and I look at it as uh, a business opportunity. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's something I could do, um, not for my whole life, but mm -hmm. for at least the younger, um, younger years of my life. Yeah. So, um, you know use that as, as much as I can, make as much money as I can basketball-wise, and use mm -hmm. that to invest in the things that I want to do outside of basketball. Right. So you also have a, a foundation, a Kenny Gaines Foundation. Um, so you do a lot for the community. Um, so what are your goals for, like, the, the young guys that look up to you, like, wow, he look like me, like, he young, he talk like me. Um, what are your plans to empower them to be entrepreneurs and to them to be great businessmen? Really, just try to change their mindset early. Mm -hmm. um, I got uh, one of my little homies that I have, um, you know, just to see the youth and how they think on a daily. It's yeah. like, wow, like I used to be crazy and radical back then, too. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, just trying to like reel, uh, reel their mindsets in and think mm -hmm. like to really focus on the future. Right. It's something that we always preach and sing so cliche, like, hey, you know, focus mm -hmm. on your future. Think about your future. Don't do, don't mess stuff up now because of yeah. your future. But to really like try to like hone in on getting them to understand that the future is like, bro, that's the most important thing because right. when you get older, you don't want to be older looking back like, man, when I was younger, I wish I could have did this, that, and the third different. Yeah. You, wanna, you know what I'm saying? Kind of be like, wow, I'm proud that, you know, when I was younger, I locked in right. and handled the things I was supposed to handle. Right. So what's your motivation? Like, what, what motivates you? Man, my motivation is my <laughs> brother and my mom and my sister, straight like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, uh, uh, the world doesn't know. 
uh, my brother as a whole, but um, you know, he was a, a wonderful individual, very smart, talented, um, and, and, and loyal, and you know, was just a, a hustler. And his his main thing was boss moves. You know, that was something he'd been saying since like. 2006. Before everybody was trying to be bossed. Yeah, before everybody yeah. wanted to be boss, boss this, boss that. And mm -hmm. it's like, so, uh, like, it's funny because I was actually in the back thinking, I was like, wow, it's crazy. My mom considered herself the boss queen. You got the girl boss sweets. And it's like, hmm, I need to throw some boss on something. <laughs> so it's like, keep it in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I need, I need to figure out, you know, which avenue I could throw boss on and kind of yeah. make some shake in. But yeah, uh, my brother and then my mom, seeing how, you know, she's dealt with tragedies um, back to back. Uh, so close, and to see her just power up and you know keep going, yeah. and, um, and just you know be the be the boss that she is through all right. of that, and then to watch you, you know, really to see how you come and like from the beginning until now to see like the consistency and dedication that you put, the hard work that nobody would ever know about, like behind you know, the scenes. Yeah, yeah, like you done seen the tears. Yeah, like <laughs> stuff, yeah, even, even you know the stuff that I don't know, you know, yeah. saying that you didn't even call me on. So mm -hmm. like, I, but I I know it happened. So just to see yeah. like y'all really just pull it together and like just stay strong and stay focused is the main thing that's really just, just has helped me a lot so yeah. i would consider you a multifaceted entrepreneur um when it Try comes to, to you can tap into so many different industries and you got that the look and the presence like you could be an athlete you could be a musician like you can handle real business yeah. um so it's amazing to see you like grow up and start like really making great decisions and that's always been my prayer for you like Lord, I love him, like, but if he could just <laughs> tap in, but I, I think you got it yeah, now. Yeah, you it got took it. me a minute to it come around. It took you a minute, we, we, but you we got was it. Go, we yes, warning like, back and forth, Lord but Jesus. I just but, had to grow so up. So I am. I just want to let you know I'm super proud of you. I think that I LA would be that. crazy proud of us. He probably for looking sure. down like, yo, they bossed up. We're like, yeah, we got you. What's up? <laughs> um, so like, what's next for you? What's next for the next five years? Um, next five years, um, I want to grow uh, KG Luxury Lease. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I got it established here in Atlanta now. Um, the next location I want to move to, and I swear I'm not trying to chase you, is uh, is Houston. I, I want you to come uh, to Houston. I'm all for it. Let's yeah. go. Okay, um, that's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, next next location is I uh, want to want to you know set foot in Houston mm -hmm. and uh, get some things going there. And then um, outside of that, I also have some Airbnbs I'm working on, yeah. uh, trying to get some properties and. Get some yeah. land and I got about yeah. ninety thousand things going on. Right. So when it, when I it love the it. fact that with KG Luxury Lease, it can be more than cars. It could be house lease. Yeah, it I can lease be your lease, room to lease a house. you a lease room. Lease you a room. So I think, and then with I was talking about like how Girlboss is gonna be like luxury office space for Girlboss. I think I love how we're on that same wave, like black excellence. Like we don't yeah. have to have no rinky dink raggedy stuff. Nah, like for sure. we gonna right. ride around in Benzes and be in Buckhead and places. So exactly. I'm excited that God gave us that next level, that next dimension of wealth yeah. vision. Facts. Um, Thanks. So that's super lit. So how do we get in contact with you? Uh, you can reach me on Instagram um, at Kenny Gaines 12 or you can follow my business page, KG Luxury Lease. Um, I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. Um, uh, Twitter is Kenny Gaines 12. Uh, I don't really tweet that much, but hey, I appreciate the follow. Um, and uh, your website too. Yeah, my website is uh, kgluxurylease.com. And uh, yeah, you know, if you need your luxury car, Bentley, Rafe, you know, uh, uh, little G Wagon or something. You do Kyle. dirt bikes too. We do dirt bikes. We got dirt bike rentals, uh, four by fours. Um, you know, if you want to get dirty, get muddy, um, you know, we got it all. So just uh, yeah. tap in. So if y'all see me riding around in luxury lease, I'm not flexing. Nah, it, it ain't even no. If y'all see her riding around unless you lease, it ain't no lease. That's us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying for sure. I'm just like y'all know. You know how folks in Atlanta do like, oh, Tierra, fake rider, no. Like, <laughs> nah, it's the real one. Right. <laughs> so I appreciate you sitting down with us today. Um, I'm like I said, I'm so excited about your growth, and we on to amazing things. Yes, man. I appreciate you for having me for sure. Yes.